Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, we are working on uh, 2018 Tesla Model 3 again. In my previous video I was uh, hoping that I would get uh, over the way the Tesla drives, the way this particular one drives. And um, I guess I couldn't so uh, I did uh, buy another uh, rack and pinion and uh, I think I figure out, figured out where the problem was or more specifically what exactly I didn't like about driving because uh, I couldn't understand what exactly why it was driving weird and uh, I think I think I understand now in a regular car if you're driving down, down the road and you turn your steering wheel ever so slightly and then let go it will correct itself back. I pretty much realized that when I went from Tesla and drove uh, our Nissan and uh, that's pretty much was uh, the moment when I realized okay that's that's way different and I realized that if I turn my steering wheel on the Nissan it will correct itself and on the Tesla on this particular one it's not. If you turn your steering wheel just a little bit it will stay there and it feels like that the rack opinion uh, the shaft or whatever it's some some kind of internal uh, actually probably uh, rubbing on something or I don't know it's just something uh, restricting free um, free way of that shaft going back and forth uh, anyway uh, I believe uh, that the issue is in uh, rack and pinion itself and I uh, actually already ordered one got one off of uh, eBay unfortunately they sent me the one with the wrong part number I mean it's not exactly wrong it's a little bit different but instead of me uh, returning this and uh, you know waiting for another one I, I'm just gonna install it. Uh, hopefully, it's gonna it's gonna work. It should be pretty much exactly same fit. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why the part number is just one letter off, but let's just get to installing this one uh, real quick and see if it's gonna cure uh, my problem. All right, let's do it. gonna disconnect the motor because I will have to take it off uh, anyway because uh, I intend on reusing this motor because this motor is already programmed to the car and if I put rack opinion completely as it is with the new motor I will have to get uh, this motor uh, programmed um, I don't think it's gonna um, calibrate by itself um, it will have to be done by dealer and um, I think I, I can avoid the, uh, this by just reusing my own motor Well, it's a miracle. I thought it was a bad idea to uh, try to grip the tie rod with uh, with this vice grip, um, but lucky for me, it's not tied down like I was expecting that it would be uh, really, really a fight trying to get. The, um, tie rod unscrew but it's actually it wasn't that bad um, so one side pretty much is out one to go that's um, 
that's interesting because uh, in case if this thing get loose over time uh, there's no retainer of any sort of any kind um, well I guess that's just I guess it works I guess that's that was tight enough all right so tie rods are out Let's see if we can uh, finish it up from top. So there's pretty much only four bolts that are holding this uh, rack and pin. Well, actually, never mind. There's uh, one more, which is a steering steering wheel, uh, steering shaft, or whatever that thing called. The shaft is out and four bolts. Okay, so I'm actually going to install it with this motor uh, simply because um, I wonder if there is a some sort of programming to this sensor and um, if I put my original uh, original motor and that um, original motor is supposed to be calibrated with this sensor then I will get uh, code uh, regardless and I will still have to go to a dealer so let me try this first and, uh, and we'll see what happens I can tell the difference before when I was trying to turn I would have to use everything I had and right now it just easily turns yeah that's a day and night difference Down, one to go. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's nice and tight. All right, just like a factory. Before I assemble it, I'd like to take a test drive. I'm pretty sure that was the issue. The back and pinion was the issue uh, because I can tell already the wheels are turning much more easily. Let's uh, let's fire the car up and see uh, how it uh, how it works. Okay guys, so let's see what's gonna happen, what kind of uh, uh, error codes we're gonna get uh, once I hit the brake. So here we go. Okay, incompatible drive system software detected. So that's that's pretty much exactly the same thing as the uh, with the last uh, swap when I just swapped the motor uh, Let's see if we swap the motor to original one. Let's see if we're gonna get any error messages Here's the 
moment of truth. Uh, I'm gonna hit the brake and we'll see what happens. Okay, interesting. Doesn't feel a key, which is not a problem. Okay, no messages so far. Well, that's interesting. Alright, let's take it. Let's take it for a spin. Okay, guys, so it drives way better right now. Um, probably can't see anything. Let me switch lights on. Yeah, guys, it's it's that kind of difference. It's uh, it's a day and night difference. Uh, car runs uh, smoothly. Uh, I mean, it was running smoothly, but the, the driving experience was not as good. And if I put it in uh, autopilot, uh, we are like in auto steer right now, autopilot. So you can see that the car is not struggling like back and forth. I mean, it's correcting uh, slightly, but it's not like it used to. Um, so yeah, that, that was the issue. Uh, let's let's get back to uh, garage. Okay guys, so here's the conclusion. The car is fixed. I absolutely love the way it runs. I, I've actually been driving it for a little while and I absolutely love it. Um, what exactly happened? I'm not sure. Something inside uh, rack and pinion got damaged during an accident. I, I assume that's, that's what happened. But it's like a day and night difference. Um, so uh, this is going to be pretty much it for this project. And uh, yeah, I, I'm going to have uh, some interesting uh, rebuilds uh, coming up after Bobcat as well. Um, I have an interesting project I will probably reveal sometime in the middle of the Bobcat uh, project. It's something that I, I can bet you guys didn't expect. Um, it's going to be, it's an automotive project, um, but I can almost guarantee you won't guess what it is. Even, even not, not make and model you won't guess even uh, what uh, what kind of uh, thing that is so you you'll have to watch my videos you'll have to stick around so make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure your bell notification is on and i'll see you in the next one stick around